Welcome back to our ASMR reactions, where you can hear the juicy content of flowing. Ah. Juice. Juice. <laughs> Hey, welcome back to our stupid reaction. It's I'm Corbin. I'm Juicy. And you follow us on Instagram, Twitter, mm. more juicy mm. content. Thanks mm. on Patreon, follow us Twitter account. Subscribe yeah, Patreon, like baby. But Patreon, baby. Oh, Patreon. Oh, Patreon. Oh, Patreon. Oh. How lovely are your patrons? They're very lovely. Uh, and today we're doing a movie review. <laughs> a short movie review. And goodbye, everybody. See you tomorrow. <laughs> That's how short it was. Uh, of the new 2022... It says 2022. Clearly it was supposed to come out last, last year. year. Um, uh, due to plantemic. Um, a The new Pankaj Tripati star... Our dost. Our dosty dost. The originator of the dost. Uh, and directed and written by... Abarup Basu. And produced as well. Correct. Uh, and it's basically a laundry laundry man from the suburbs of Kolkata. Gata finds companionship in an unclaimed red dress, which triggers existential memories from the past. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Maybe, uh, maybe giving away too much. Giving away a little bit. I think all it needed to say was a lonely laundry man from the suburbs of Calcutta encounters an unclaimed red dress. Yeah, don't need to bring up the... Doesn't even need to say that he finds companionship in it. That's no. giving away too much. Giving away too much. I agree. Oh, yes. Uh, but this will be a, a, a spoiler review. It's 35 minutes. Just go watch it. It's on Disney Hotstar. Okay? <laughs> Just, it's, yeah. it's not going to take up too much of your time. Okay? Yeah. Just, yeah. And it's a short one, so I don't want to This wait. is the shortest film we've probably seen that isn't uh, called... A short, short film. film, yeah, yeah, that like we didn't fully react. To. Yeah, you could you could fit this in, ten times into Lagan. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can. <laughs> uh, but Rick, your initial thoughts, please. It's what I expected mm -hmm. from the trailer. Mm -hmm. It's everything I had hoped it would be. Um, when we get into spoilers, we I'll have the. the I'll, oh, we are in the spoilers. Yeah, I, okay, so that's what I said. Go watch. It. Oh yeah, oh, there you go. So go. You liked it. Yes. Okay, go watch it. Now we're gonna talk spoilage. It's 35 minutes. It's uh, worth your time. Go watch it. It's on Disney Hotstar. So what we expected from the trailer and from Pankaj is um, if you want to see what it means to be an actor, watch. And if you want to see what it means to tell a story from a cinematic viewpoint that's highly elevative and cares very much uh, in a way that I've seen this blueprint. We've talked about the blueprint of Malayalam film mm -hmm. we're watching this and we were about 10 minutes in and i said to indrani i said this director's got to be ben bengali he's th this is a bengali this feels like a bengali film i feel like we've watched enough film to get a sense and not because not just because it's taking place in kolkata that obviously was a real treat for her mm -hmm. at one point no joke hearing the sounds hearing the sounds and at one point it was, I think it was one of the first shots we had from behind him to show the street one of these big yellow buses went by, and Andrani flipped out and screamed, that's my bus. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. Yeah, and the 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 wedding processional moment, Oh yeah. we were laughing really hard because she said, that is so accurate, that is so spot on as to what would happen, and that the groom was on top of the hood, but his horse was being pulled behind without him on it. So, uh, yeah, there's a lot we can talk about story-wise, but this is... What do you want to talk about? What do you want to talk about first? Because everything was fantastic. Yeah, I. I, I, I <laughs> where do you want to? Where do we want to begin? I lavishing the praises. Can't agree because, <laughs> um, yeah, this is it, it, it. Delivered on what I wanted. Yep. And it delivered right away on what I wanted. Yep. It, it opens with a basically a ten minute one shot. Yep. Of just Pankaj, no dialogue, just, 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 just acting, or just not even acting. He's just, just being. He's just doing it. And uh, like apparently Pankaj shed uh, when I he because uh, I, I had uh, sent him 
the trailer I was like you, you have a new film coming out I haven't heard about it and he's like and he told me about it he's like there's nine minute one shot he's like but it wasn't planned right so my guess is the director was like just I'm going just do something just just do what you think yep. is naturally to you that you would do in this situation yeah there was there was only one moment sincerely only one where I didn't know it was done in a way that was kind of not just in the moment and I'd love to know if Pankaj would say, yeah, guilty as charged, or if it really, if it was a genuine moment, then it's my faux pas. But I felt there was only one moment where, and it, my guess is they were going way longer. And here's what happens. The temptation for a director, whether you're workshopping, rehearsing, it's a play, typically only in rehearsals, because in a play, the actor's in control of the tempo. But if you're filming and you're thinking this is only going to go three minutes, and the director hasn't said cut, and you're just going, there's a massive temptation to occupy the space versus just be in the moment. And so it was when he grabbed the back scratcher and scratched his ear. <laughs> no, I loved that. I, <laughs> I loved it so I much. I loved it, but I thought... That really felt like a silent film moment. It was almost a Charlie Chaplin -y moment for a second where it wasn't the character just being there. It was Pankaj having a little moment of, <laughs> um, but <laughs> I disagree. The, I, it's possible. I, I, I felt that it's, was a very genuine it's very possible. part of that film. I'm not saying it happened. I just would love uh. to know if he was feeling like this was going a long time and he just did a little sticky thing with the scratcher. Yeah, my, he may not have. My bet is that the, um, the director was like, I'm just, and maybe not even even tell him. You oh, know? I'm sure he didn't he tell just, him. We're going to go. Absolutely. Then, He's the kind of actor you can do that with. Yeah. yeah. Uh, why wouldn't you? Of course. Uh, but yeah, I thought that was a, it was a brilliant way to open the film because Pankaj knows nothing except to just how to be and yes. be there, right? He's yeah. Just, and he, he's so, he obviously, he, it comes with experience of acting, but he knows he doesn't really need to do anything. Correct. He just, he's interesting enough and the way he trusts his director probably, and so he knows that the story is going to be interesting enough and the character and the, yeah. the way it's filmed, that he doesn't need to perform. He could just stand there, kind of be confused as or he was like, obviously this guy was wanting to close up shop and <laughs> and, and get on with the day and yep. all that kind of stuff. Um, oh man, I, yeah, that, that full first 10 minutes of a 35 minute film of just being one shot I thought it was just absolutely brilliant I, I absolutely <laughs> loved it and he is uh, I think it was it may have been Francine Maisler um, who is a legendary casting director here in LA if it wasn't her it was another legendary casting director who in an interview when asked what advice would you give to actors when they're auditioning and one of the things that was said was dare to bore me mm. dare to bore me the other thing is bring something to it that no one else is going to bring to it, mm -hmm. which is yourself. Yeah. Don't try to give me what you think I want to see based on what's on the paper. Bring to me what you're going to incarnate when you're the character and dare to bore me doing it. Mm -hmm. And because well, most it's really weird, but mo some of the most interesting things you can capture on film are what are the most mundane moments of life. And most actors who are inexperienced feel they need to fill the space with something yeah. rather than let it be void of anything but just being. It was very reminiscent of um, our, our other Dos Manoj in, in Algira when he's listening to the music yes. in the chair. Yes. And that's what it seems like yes. many minutes. I forget how long it was. Yeah. But um, it was just they let him kind of yep. do his thing and, and, and enjoy that and moment. I bring up this moment all the time because it's one of the first times I ever noticed it in cinema. Uh, whenever you talk about moments that lasted longer than the actors probably thought it did, just so that the director could see what are we going to get that's real and organic and unscripted, is in One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest when they're having the party and uh, uh, Jack's character just sits underneath the windowsill. And... I promise you he had no idea the director was going to go that long. It goes on a long time, and that's the dare. It's, are you just going to be, or do you feel like you need to perform for me now? Do you need to yawn and show me you're tired? Do you need to stretch? Do you need to suddenly, oh, suddenly get something in your ear? Do you need to create something versus just be? And he just sits there. 
daydreams at one point. He looks over at somebody and smiles at him and just, it's beautiful. And that's what I felt this whole film was. Mm -hmm. And we knew we were going to get that with Pankaj. We knew we were going to get what we got. One of the best for a reason, man. He is one of the best. He is a, if you want to know how to act, watch him do this film. This no. is how this is how to act. You want to know how to act? Watch him not act. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> now, let's talk about the directing. Yes. Because directors, if you want to know how to direct, yeah. and tell a story, a simple story, cinematically. But yeah, and you also the, the, go on. Yeah, I'll go. go on. No, that that was it. Yeah. Watch this. Yeah. The um and the fact that he didn't also feel the need to tell you the full story either. Correct. He's like, this is just a little slice. Of this man's life. Yep. Just, and you're going to see him realize stuff, think about stuff, remember stuff. Mm-hmm. You're not going to know really what it is. Yeah. That it that it that he's that he's kind of thinking about or reminiscing yeah. about. Yeah. Like I I love the moment when he's just put on the really nice shirt mm-hmm. jacket, right? And he moves the the hangers away. And he has a flourish to the left, which in the trailer was yeah. beautiful. Yeah, was yeah, when yeah. we got rid of all of those little stamps, right? Yeah. But when he did that little flourish, it was so out of character for who he had been for the last 15 minutes. I, I said to Indrani with excitement, I went, oh, what's he going to do? He's going to perform. What is he doing right now? And every little moment like that. And the saying so much with so little, like when he gets the drinks put through the little slot, right? Mm-hmm. Well, when he gets the champagne bottle, a beautiful moment of Pankaj just being a man who's never opened a champagne bottle, mm-hmm. rather than showing you, I'm a guy who's never opened a champagne bottle. He was a guy, I guarantee Pankaj has opened champagne bottles before in his life, but he made us believe that this man, and, and it said so much about this man, about his status in life, about what he's been able to accomplish or not accomplish and whether or not those accomplishments are because of circumstances beyond his control or choices he's made. Why is he alone? Yeah. Why does he live where he does the way that he does? Does he not have a love interest and he fantasizes because his heart was broken and he can't risk again? Or did he never, ever risk in the first place? And we're never given answers to that. Yeah, and what was wrong with his neck? Yeah. <laughs> Poor guy. It seems like he has actually a lot of neck problems. <laughs> he had neck problems, but that was that because it was being used the way Robert Shaw's limp was used in the sting? Because that was a real injury. Did Pankaj really have something going on with his neck or was that scripted? Yeah, we don't know. I have no clue. And but... it doesn't matter because it was believable. Yeah. Everything about it. And what did what did you what was your interpretation of the full story? What do you think? What was Um, okay, well what I love I love that we don't know if she took the dress or not. Yeah. I think he lied. You think so? I think he kept it. Yes, a hundred percent. I don't think he gave the dress back. I think that was her dress. But I think he kept it. And it wouldn't surprise me if the little Russian bobblehead doll was another comparable thing where someone had left it and asked if it was there, and he was like, mm-mm. <laughs> That's mine. I like that. Or the poster above the bed. Yeah. That was probably left by a little kid who wanted it, and he was like, mm-mm. <laughs> but maybe he did give it back. And I think the ultimate story was about the choices, the combination of what makes us who we are at certain stages in our life and this complexity and amalgamation of we're a result of the choices we make, but we're also a result of the circumstances, a result of the circumstances that we've been placed in. And sometimes you're in a place where you faced insurmountable odds and circumstances, and it's just very tragic and sad that you've gotten to a place where you have a sense of loneliness and you have unfulfilled dreams. However, there are people who are in those places that are there because they chose it and they had opportunities that they didn't take and they've reaped what they'd sown. Yeah. And I think it was purposefully left with the lesson of we are who we are because of choice and circumstance and you can't judge this character because I haven't given you enough information. You have to decide what you think and therein lies a personal bias you probably have. Yeah. 
right? Absolutely. Yeah. And yeah, I like that interpretation of it. I didn't. Yeah. And I, I don't did, know if that's the intent, but that's what I felt. Um, I also another thing I really really enjoyed was the uh, cinematography of of the entire thing. The I thought slow it was actually burns very, are so damn good. Uh, and <sighs> and just the the color the coloring of everything, uh, whether uh, that was by the editor or the uh, cinematographer, but the cinematographer um, deep mit mit car. Mm-hmm. And then Dhruv Panchal. Panchal. Yeah. Um, I I I thought it was absolutely gorgeous for such a small film mm-hmm. that it looked so. It, not like obviously Sanjay. We, obviously, that's the epitome of just that wouldn't have crazy worked. Beauty. Yeah, but that 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 this wouldn't is have worked. Gritty, real, gritty beauty. beautiful. Yeah, it wasn't. It wasn't. We, well, we, we always use the two extremes of the just the street dirt raw of Anurag. And like the polished beauty of the Thomas Kincaid lights of Sanjay, and everybody kind of falls in the middle of that. And the, and then there was such interesting angles they decided to take with Incredibly some other shots as great well, angles. which I think is probably one of the more fun things for cinematographers and directors to come up with, because obviously film has not been around for it seems like ever now, right? Um, and so every angle, it seems like, has been done in film before. Right. So to keep, one, yourself creatively engaged and the audience creatively yes. engaged, you have to create different ways of filming things so it seems kind of new and unique. And in every way, I, I mean, did that. I, I felt this as well um, I'm in this same vein. Remember we mentioned the fact that it was only 35 minutes long, mm-hmm. and I loved the fact that it was kind of this, like, rebellious it's the length it is because we didn't have a length in mind when we started this thing. We just created it and had something we wanted to say. It could have been two hours. It could have been nine minutes. It just happens to be this length mm-hmm. for no other reason than this is how long it is. I felt there was a almost, not that this was the highest intention of the film, but within the film's intention. And it was with some of these choices of not just framing, but the slowness of pan. There's this one pan that goes and you see the crumpled up newspapers that are sitting there. And the fact that that's not a stagnant shot, but a slow pan is we talked about this before. It's it's showing you a window or a mirror about the human experience. Mm -hmm. And that's showing you that's that's the amount of time he's spent. Those are his papers he's been reading. Mm -hmm. And it's not a stagnant shot showing you something in moment. It, it's conveying the sense of the slowness of the way time is moving for him, but simultaneously time is slipping away from him. Mm-hmm. And I felt like those slow, it was, there was never anything that was done very quickly with the movement. There were some hard edits. One of them made me laugh out loud, which was when he had, he had gotten a little drunk and he fell asleep. And then all of a sudden, Hard cut, cut to, to the him. foot with the sunlight coming through the holes in the door. I laughed out loud at that hard edit. Yeah. There was there was a lot of really good edits. Great in this. edits. Like there was one where I forget what was right before it, but it was something that was a little more hectic. And then it went to him on the bed. On the bed, laying. just laying there, looking yeah. up. At I, was, yeah. I laughed and out I loved loud. The, I loved that the POV was in 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 lens. Mm-hmm. That it wasn't off to the side, but that whenever he was looking up at her, he was looking at us. Mm-hmm. And obviously. The book ending of the exact same wording of the lady who has the name Lali on the radio mm-hmm. saying the exact same words, front end and back end. This is all about time and the passage of time and how our choices and circumstances interweave with time. And sometimes we get what we don't deserve and sometimes we do get what we deserve. And but, and the other thing about the drunk sequence, actors, you want to know how to be drunk on film, watch Pankaj. If you want to do anything on film, just watch Broncos. Because he's not, I believed 100% the man was drunk. You'll, you'll find 100% he was drunk. You'll find people who can do different things, but you won't find anybody who can act better. No, correct. They'll, they will simply give you a different interpretation. Yes. And that's the only thing that would be enjoyable in watching it comparatively. But there's not an actor alive that you could put in there who would do it any better. It would just be different. Yes. Absolutely. And I, you, you could put him in any conversation you want. He's one of the greatest, most naturally gifted actors I've ever seen. And I'd really love to know why the mole. Yeah. And I love that I don't know. I also love that we don't know if he kept the dress. I, um, I, and there I, was, I, I do love films that just let you let it. You have so many unanswered questions. Yeah. Um, because it just doesn't feel it's like oh, you can figure you can skip. This is a slice of life. There was a dangerous line. 
there was a dangerous line. Hmm. And I'm glad they said it, but it was a big risk. Right after he finished ironing and the other shirts are picked up and the red dress is left behind, he has his first like real line. And he says something to the effect of, looks like you're like me. We've been forgotten. That was a dangerous thing to say mm. out loud because this is all about show, not tell. But I felt like it worked. I felt like that worked. And I think the reason it worked is because of the actor saying the line. That could have been, a, that could have been somebody going, hey, audience, here's the message. And it wasn't. I felt that it was an organic moment. I'd love to know if they had a conversation even about that. If maybe, maybe Pankaj felt like, why am I saying that? Because if my reason for saying it is so that the audience gets the message, then we've killed what we're doing. Because nobody ever says something for what audience in real life? There is no audience. But if I'm really saying it because I think out loud and we can justify it, and I think they did. Yeah, and this character obviously did talk to himself. Did talk to himself. And exactly. So he's, That's he's what justifies one it. One of the kind of people I, that does And that. I loved, we only were shown the bobbly headed Russian doll thing one time in a slow pan before he did, so he did the thing where he's standing and he just looks over and he goes, <laughs> and, you, and you knew he was doing it to her. Once again, Pankaj's neck deserves an Oscar. Always. <laughs> the best neck in the business. There's, there's, there is no better, neck, no in better neck in the Pankaj. business than Pankaj. <laughs> I, I don't know how he gets to work it so well. So we could, we could, our review could be longer <laughs> than the film. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you're still not here if you haven't seen it. Uh, please go watch it if you haven't. Um, and... Uh, yeah, let us know what you thought about the film. And if you didn't like it, you're wrong. Yeah, you, I, I, don't <laughs> I don't know, know how, what, man. I don't, I don't know, know how. how. It's like, oh, the actor, shut up, you're lying. You know who might not like it? And I love that this film is that way. Because one of the things about it that's, I, I didn't, really didn't finish the thought on the, the revelatory aspect of it. it, it forces a world right now that needs an edit every two seconds and needs the dopamine hits of their social media all the time and needs to have the special effects and the CGI and the quick and the... It forces you to just sit and watch a slow pan, a nine minute with no dialogue, thinking, a slight tilt of the head. I love it. It's my favorite. I love it. Uh, anyways, let us know what you thought about the film. What should be the next... Bankage, uh, Tripathi film. Actually, there's a... Uh, and I would love to see this well. director. Yes. Uh, on, on, loved uh, this. Say his name for me, please. Aburup Basu. And forgive me if I have mispronounced that in any way. He did a phenomenal job. Uh, the, the one that I, I keep hearing of Pankaj is the... What was it called? Not Gangs of Wasp, we've already seen uh, it. From, the, from a past film of his we yeah, should see? Yeah, it's called... I know when I see it, I'll know it. He's another there. man. He's another man who could be a great Bond villain. Oh, come on. Gurgaon? Yeah, we've seen the trailer for that. A lot of people say that's a, a really good performance of his underrated film. Anyways, hey, let hey, us know what hey. you thought about the film and what should be the next Pankaj and this director's films that we should watch down below. Hey.